This time of year, Keith, we expect to see a more active weather pattern, but right now things have been so quiet across Maine. Yeah, I mean, and we kind of keep kicking the can down the road as far as when that active pattern may show up. So now looks like late January, but I'll believe it when I see it, as people like to say to me when we make forecasts. <laughs> we had a couple of snow showers that were out there this morning, dwindled, evaporated. Regardless, there's no support left for them, and uh, they really didn't do much anyway. There's a dusting in a few areas that was about the long and the short of it. Right now, visible satellite looks pretty good. We watch it kind of sun come up on it. And we've got some clouds in the mountains. Most of us, though, or a lot of us, at least spatially, are sunny, and uh, we'll see a mixture of sun and clouds through the rest of today. Relatively pleasant day, you know, this time of the year. Don't take it for granted. Yeah, you have a few January thaws, but you also have some really cold weather historically this time of the year, and it just isn't here. Temperatures are in the mid 30s. They'll continue into the upper 30s to around 40 later this afternoon, more like freezing across northern Maine and into the higher terrain, uh, obviously. Tomorrow, I think, is a brighter day, more consistently when compared to today, but otherwise it's really the same. Mid 30s, couple of upper 30s are possible. It's a nice day. And then more clouds come around on Thursday. There's just a little disturbance around. So that's going to kind of fill in our sky with cloud cover. So I think Thursday's not as nice of a day because we don't have the sun. Temperature wise, it's actually pretty good in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees, but the sun does a lot mentally, at least <laughs> this time of the year. And then Friday is quiet as well. So just kind of keep plodding along. High pressure weekly in control here. Warm front kind of noses in on Friday and that is a precursor to our next storm system which looks like it wants to be warm and I say that in a weird way because there's still some details yet to be ironed out here but with the warm front where it is it seems like the coastline is going to be rain for sure. Inland is probably rain. The question really comes down to the mountains. Can they hang on to snow? They'll start as snow for sure here on Saturday morning. But as that warm air tries to intrude, and this is going to come down to kind of mesoscale, small scale modeling stuff, can they hold that line? Or does the warm air as the European model and the GFS just blast in and bring even the mountains rain? So again, coast, rain, inland, likely rain. Uh, it's the mountains that we're really kind of fighting over at this point. They could use the snow. They probably will get some, but really what matters is what happens after this three to five inch snowfall. If it, if it blasts up rain, then it doesn't really do any good. So we'll keep an eye on that. It doesn't look like a major player though for the more populated parts of the state. So rain likely on Saturday, clearing and breezy on Sunday, colder on Monday, but colder is relative, only right around 30 degrees or so. We'll call it a mix to rain on Saturday, just anticipating inland that there will be probably a start of snow. But again, the way this thing is all positioned, I think it's going to be hard for it to be a major snow event. And speaking of major snow events, eh, I don't see any. And, and the long range pattern, you said, Keith, indicates maybe we get more active, but you know, it's too soon to say. It, yeah, it looks more active. The other thing is this whole polar vortex thing. It, if we get really, really cold, believe it or not, that probably reduces our chance of snow because that high blocks and pushes storms to our south. So it's probably one or the other. I doubt we'll have cold and snowy. All right, we'll stay tuned. Thank you, Keith.